Let's take a look at the diagnostics tests that are useful on the John Deere rate controllers with the liquid application system. From the run screen, press diagnostics, then the test tab. On the pull down menu, the three main tests are the nozzle flow check, the section test, or control section test on the John Deere rate controller 2000, and the calibrate PWM limits test, which is the first test we will look at. This is a good test for initial startup and pump priming as well as when diagnosing an issue with the system. The system will not shut down during the calibrate PWM limits test if there is no flow. To get there, we press the diagnostics button, then the test tabs, and then select calibrate PWM limits. To start the test, we turn on the master foot switch and then we'll press the start button. We press and hold the plus button to increase the PWM signal to the pump so the pump speeds up. As product begins flowing, we should see the pressure start to build and the flow in gallons per minute should increase. While the test is running, press the readings tab and select delivery system. This lets us see more information about the system operation. Here you see a steady PWM duty cycle at the bottom and a steady reading on flow meter hertz at the top. We can go back to the test and press the press plus button to speed up the pump and increase flow and press the minus button to slow down the pump and decrease the flow. Here's a picture of the screen on the rate controller 2000 for this test. Notice it shows the PWM duty cycle and the flow in gallons per minute. Next test is the section test or control section test on the rate controller 2000. Again from the run screen press diagnostics then the test tab and then choose section test. Start the test, turn on the master and then press the start button. Press and hold the plus button to speed up the pump and get product flowing. You can open and close individual section valves to verify proper operation. While the test is running, you can go to the readings tab to check on other system parameters, including pressure sensor status and the delivery system, where again we can check the PWM duty cycle and flow meter hertz. The next test is the nozzle flow check. This lets us simulate running the system in the field at a specific speed and rate. Again, from the run screen, press the diagnostics button, and then the test tab, and then choose nozzle flow check. Enter a test speed and rate, turn on the master, and press start. The pump should start and the system should come up to the rate you selected. As it does this, you also see the pressure and the flow in gallons per minute. If you are testing with water, the pressure will be much lower than it will be with fertilizer. You can go to the readings tab and check out the delivery system to see the PWM duty cycle. This, along with the flow meter hertz, should be fairly stable. You can also check the pressure sensor status. There will be some movement here, but it should stay in a fairly tight range. While the test runs, you can change the rate and see how the system adjusts and locks on to the new rate. This concludes the main test 